Thank you, Jamie Lee. I call her JLC on my cell phone. I got her number. Well, I'm, I'm very nervous, y'all. I've never been in a room with so many beautiful people and so much money. <laughs> My son is here. Parker. Listen. Parker spent his entire life trying to come out to me. When he turned 21, he said, Mom, I met someone and I need you to be okay about it. I didn't take the news very well. I said some things and I thought some things and I acted in ways that I regret even today. It took some time for me to get from the church to the pride parade. And when Parker came out of his closet, I went into mine, and I got educated. And in, in 2015, I made a homemade button, and I stood at the Oklahoma City Pride Parade. And with anyone who made eye contact with me, I'd say, could I offer you a hug or a high five? Because not everybody is a hugger. I just wanted to be a loving presence in the lives of these beautiful, spirit-filled people who have been alienated from their families, from their church homes, and from many parts of society. That day, that day I went home covered from head to toe with glitter. <laughs> True story. I also went home with real horror stories ringing in my ear. Like the young woman who hadn't had a hug from her mother in four years simply because she's gay. From a beautiful young couple living out of their car. From people uh, of the LGBTQ community who have been alienated and separated from their families, from their church homes and many parts of society. And listen, I'm the least educated, or the least politically minded person you'll ever meet. But it didn't take long to realize that my straight son has more rights than my gay son. Now, I'm not the first mom to offer free mom hugs at a pride parade. But it was based on that experience that I started the nonprofit Free Mom Hugs. And some friends and dads and allies and I got together and we started taking up collections and offering gas cards, food cards, uh, safe housing, uh, for, uh, name changes to our, for our transgender friends so their identity matches their birth certificates. Now, all of that was beautiful. We were making a, uh, a, we were being a loving presence in the state of Oklahoma, but we didn't know how to have an impact um, in the local media. Uh, and so when GLAD, when Scott Turner Schofield came to GLAD, came to Oklahoma City and offered a, a Saturday workshop, um, Parker and I went and I said, look, if we just learn one thing, then it'll be worth spending the afternoon. And I'm so glad that we did because we learned how to tell our story. We learned the power of social media. And we learned how to make our words count. And we found our voice. And we rely on that training every day. Whether we're talking to a mom who thinks she's the only woman in the world with a transgender kid in Topeka, Kansas, or on the t uh, stage of the Today Show with Al Roker. So thank you, Glad, for that. <laughs> Currently, Free Mom Hugs has chapters in over 40 states. 
we have moms all over, all over the nation preparing to go to prides, preparing to be a loving presence where they are. We're uh, launching our third Free Mom Hugs tour, the tour of hope, and ending in the Castro on Mother's Day. And I would be amiss. Listen, I could not be here today if it wasn't like a mama bear um, who's been a longtime supporter of GLAD, Ari Getty, where are you? I got a mom on back for you. That mama, that mama bear, she knows how to get shit done. <laughs> Ari, thank you for paving the way for my son. And forgive me for taking so long to get here. Where are we at? <laughs> now with GLAD, we're aiming to continue to spread the message and fighting for our LGBTQ acceptance, transgender rights, and an end to conversion therapy, which by the way is still, no, yes, you can clap to ending it. <laughs> but not without knowing that it is still legal, sought out, and paid for just blocks from my home. Now I hope one day we won't need free mom hugs. But until then, Ari and I, we're going to be out there posting, marching, ordaining, standing in, officiating, and giving out hugs and high fives. And even tonight, I'm here with some friends, and we're going to come out in the audience, and we're going to give you a hug and you a high five. So get ready. And finally, last thing, I want this message to come through loud and clear. Parker, I love you so much. I'm so glad to be on this side of the story with you. Thank you for letting me ask you the hard questions and allowing me grace. Thank you.